Good day. How to run a key nearest neighbor classification with frontline solver data mining? I am Dr. Daniel Morin from Concordia University in Montreal, Canada. To illustrate the key nearest miner application, we will use a sample of 500 observation. Success is the main variable. For a 1, it means success and 0, failure. We will use the following two variables to try to classify observation as success or failure. The first variable is results to an exam and out of 100. And the next variable is attendance as a seminar. One if the employee attended and zero if the employee did not attend. We would like to classify additional observation such as I did uh, observation 501 and observation 502. And we will use a 60, 30, and 10% partition. Let us go now to Excel and apply this procedure. Here is a sample of 500 observations on the variables that we have indicated before. I take all those observations and go to classify data mining classify if I had a rare event I would need first to partition using oversampling but this is not the case here so I can go to key nearest minor and I note as my output variable is the success and my two other selected variables were results and a seminar of course, we have two classes of results, success or failure, indicated by 1 or 0. The next thing we have to do is identify the value of k, that is the size, the size of the neighborhood. What we recommend is to ask for the largest value of k, which is in this case here 10, due to the program. And we will search from 1 to k. We will search to see which one is better for our analysis. The next thing we need to do is to partition the data. We'd like to partitioning and start with a random seed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we click user define and decide what we want. We want 60, 30, and 10 in my test data. I would also like to get all the detailed reports for the three sets of data, the training, validation, and test. And now we'd like to score new data that I have in my spreadsheet. So I have from H to J here. We pay attention to the title. The headings are identical. Therefore, I can match them by name and we are finished with this. The first information that the system is giving us is about the input, what we really asked. We have used the random seed, one, two, three, four, five. We have 300 observations in my training data, which correspond to, to 60%. 115 validation corresponding to 30% and 50 corresponding to 10% as we have requested. We ask to use a 10 and then we did not ask uh, to standardize the data. That's why here rescale data is a false. The first important information that we obtain is here, the search log. The system generates for the values of k we have asked from 1 to 10 the percentage of misclassification. However, because we have used the training data to derive the rules, a validation data will be used to classify, to calculate the misclassification rate. And we find the lowest one is 20 and it happens when k equals 3. Therefore, for the rest of the problem, the rest of the classification and the error rate, the value of k equal 3 will be used. 
Again, it was used by the validation set on the training data. With k equal 3, each of my sets are evaluated. The training set, we, might, we find that the class 0 error rate of 9.05, class 1 error rate at 41.17%, and an overall error rate of 16.33, which is very nice, but it is underestimating the error because the data that was used to create the rule have been used to test the rule. Therefore, let's go to validation score. The validation data will also give me an error rate, class 0 error rate of 10.94% and 72.73%. And now the overall error rate is at 20%. This 20% correspond to the 20% that was selected when we looked for the smallest misclassification when k is 3. This is how we understand that the validation set are used to establish the best k. The test score will also give us the error rates. But now we know that the test score, the test data, have not been used for the training or the validation. So this error is more accurate. So class 0 error rate, 19.05. 75% class 1 error rate and overall error of 28%. When I look at the matrix, my specificity is 81%, but my sensitivity is only 25%. So therefore, it is not very good for classifying class 1. The test data have always also been classified. And then on our, our new observation, observation 501 and 502, have been classified as failure uh, according to the rule that were developed with the training and the validation data. If I needed more information, I could have also used the decile wise lift chart and the area under the curve. This is the information that we need when we use a key nearest neighbor. Thank you.